Hey guys, going on? Megan here. Uh, this is another follow-up video to the one I made about the high volume study. A few months ago, I made a video about um, a study on 45 sets per muscle per week, right? And then the study obviously showed that the group that did 45 sets per week, of course, it's not per day, uh, put on more gains than um, the ones who did, I believe, 27, something like that. But anyway, the, the video's in the description and in the thing, you just go check it out. But a lot of you guys requested more of those videos on, you know, the high volume studies. There's a ton of them. If you want, I can make a video on every single one. But this one is interesting because it just came out. It was, it was recent. I think it came out like a few weeks ago, uh, December 2019. And it was about Brigato and his colleagues, right? So they picked 27 trained men. It was obviously eight weeks, which was the standard duration of most of these studies. And they were training twice a week. And the goal was obviously figure out, okay, uh, what's the limit right you had a group doing 16 sets per muscle per week a group doing 24 sets per week and another one doing 32 sets per week and they're resting about one minute between um between sets and the goal was to figure out obviously who's going to put on the most size and if you guys have been following my channel for a long time you know i'm a big proponent of high volume i mean you know nucleus overload is, is pretty much built on high weekly volume spread out throughout the week and you know, whether you're doing it every day every other day whatever um and the findings you know it's, it's Pretty interesting, you know, and obviously it's not the only study that, that reported this, but it's worth taking a look at. Uh, so again, this was the, uh, make sure you catch up on this video. This was the one that I made a few months ago about the, the, the Radiali study, where you can clearly see the the group that did 45 sets per week. I, I believe it was on triceps, uh, put on way more gains than, um, than the other one. Now let's look at the, the workout program for this current one so again 27 trained men eight weeks twice a week and it was a standard protocol you know push pull uh legs was obviously included within the push on the pull so obviously you're doing quads on the push day hamstring on the pull day basic exercises right bench press flies tricep extensions squat leg extensions and uh obviously uh, i also included the sets so it was four sets per exercise for the um the 16 set group six sets per exercise for the 24 sets a week group and obviously eight sets so four six eight um and let's look at the results right which is pretty fucking impressive again i'm gonna try to keep this video short so i'm going real fast uh and look at it right so biceps triceps and quads look at the change in muscle thickness and again this is not including the swelling because you know they gave about two to three days before they did the measurements so that you know no one uses that bullshit excuse of oh they were just uh you know it was just inf inflammation blah 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 no so uh the 32 set group blew everyone out of the water i mean look at this and keep in mind this is nine nine trained men per group right so it was 27 men total so each group had nine uh, so you, so I don't want to hear nothing about outliers or all that bullshit. And look, you know the the quad gains were phenomenal, uh, tricep gains and you know and the bicep gains, you know which is in line with the majority of studies. Now of course I know there's oh you was gonna find a study that's gonna show you the opposite, but that's why I like looking at the majority, right? I want to see what the majority of studies are showing, come you know and also relative to the bro signs, which obviously agrees with you know high volume. You know high volume is the key. You know when when size pure size is the goal. Now, again, if your goal is just primarily strength, I've made a ton of videos on that. You could build a lot of strength doing three sets, six sets, you know, per week, believe it or not. Uh, you know, training with your three to, you know, in a three to five rep range. But when it comes to hypertrophy, especially when you train, when you advanced, you got to crank up that volume. You know, I'm going to, you know, swear by that until I die. And, um, yeah, so, again, quick conclusion. Volume, 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 guys, you know, and this has been shown over and over again, not just in the case studies, not just in the bro science, but also, you know, in the, um, in the literature. Uh, now, of course, that doesn't mean that intensity doesn't matter, right? Watch my videos on the topic. Uh, but what the literature shows consistently is that once you're lifting enough, so that means at least 60% of your one rep max, you know, so that's like about, you know, at least anywhere from... 10 to 15 reps or whatever once you're lifting enough volume becomes the primary driver right and if you look at blood flow restriction these guys are putting on muscle lifting even below that amount so volume is the key especially when you advance you know a lot of the time a lot of reasons why strength strength um athletes or strength trainees are complaining that they're not putting on as much gains is because they're training with the same volume they were training when they started lifting which, does, which blows my mind you know most people are doing the exact same workout they were doing 
when I first started lifting. And they're wondering why they're not seeing the same gains. So yeah, so volume guys, find your upper limit, obviously. Everyone is different, right? Uh, you know, always, you know, scale up slowly until you find your upper limit and manage recovery. Like I always say in the comment section, manage your recovery. So your macros, your micros, sleep, stress management, all of that stuff, right? Your volume really depends on your ability to recover from it, right? So if your recovery is trash, your recovery management is trash, then obviously, you know, high volume is not going to work for you, you know? But if you're sleeping well, you're eating enough, you're getting your vitamins and minerals, your sunlight, all that bullshit, right? You should be fine. Uh, you know, slowly increasing volume until you find your upper limit. All right, hope this video helps. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you get the notifications, and email me for coaching. I'm out of here.